Okay, so here's the interface between a PC and the new pinball system. This is going to be in our C++ uh, program eventually, but right now I just have this uh, Visual Basic uh, COM port program. So you connect to the board, and then at, the, at that baud rate, and then pretty much everything can be done with an op code and a parameter. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. Give me a little bit of room there. Can you get back on the, in the op code there? So these, these are all binary, but basically um, op code, you know, 0 to 255, using the most significant bits, you can change what it's for. So if you want to change the lights, for instance, that starts at 64. So 64.8, send. Now I want to pan over there. That turned on light zero. Now I can turn on, stay on that please. Stay on, yes, okay. So I turn on the next light. Then if I send a lower parameter, I can make the light dimmer. I can make it almost off. Then I can make, let's see, 70, light 72. Yep. 75, full brightness. Okay, cool. Also, show the, now the, Servos, there you go. So I just switched the timers around a little bit, but now we have up to eight servos on here too. So I'm gonna set servo zero to zero. Okay, and I'm gonna make it go to 180. I'm gonna control the other one, I'll put that in 90. Yeah, so uh, that works pretty good. So basically we're just using two bytes sent via serial to control this board. <laughs> and then Allison will bump into the flipper button. But the idea is um, a computer will actually run the game logic and all the high-level audio stuff, and then it'll just send commands to the pinball machine, and the pinball machine will send back to it the switch data. So yeah, that's an example of our system. So we just need to put this in a program now, like a real game kernel.